Youth runner here with Paso Robles star Tyler Dalek. 1453.7. One of the great performances ever at the A6 Clovis Invitational. One of the great performances ever in the history of the Central Section. Uh, Underrated, underappreciated, should be no more. Should have been in the championship race, but he's going to take advantage of uh, whatever opportunity on whatever starting line uh, that he gets. I know it's still very fresh and very immediate, but just how, how satisfying is this? Because you've been putting in a lot of work that a lot of people haven't gotten to see, and everybody got to see it today. Yeah, this is very, very, very big for me. I've never gone sub-15 before in a 5K, and my previous PR was... At the Golden Eagle, it was like 97. Yep. And I didn't run like that best of a time right there because of that, but this race was definitely better conditions, really nice, super nice time to run, a great time. You've been uh, you've been rolling, you know, all August and September and, uh, and early October, but I yeah. mean, obviously, I don't have to explain to you as an athlete that's in the central section, you know, that this is. This is where the memories are made, right? This is where yeah. your, your your legacy and your reputation is, is established. Like, how good did you feel about the buildup and the preparation? Like, just you know, like I said, your performances have been great, but just in terms of the energy and the belief, you know, when you when you and your family traveled over here today, like, just well, uh, how much confidence? How you know? How, how much excitement did you have? I had quite a bit of confidence. I knew the conditions here were going to be better than I've ever ran a race. In yeah, because season. you always have to race in the afternoon at Valley Championships. Yeah. <laughs> Did, did you have a sense uh, at, uh, at, at two miles or getting to, to the ticket booth like that? It's like, hey, as long as I can just hold it together, you know, you know, stay with stay with my form and dr and drive to the finish line. Like, were you were you getting reassurance from family and coaches like that you were on sub 15 pace? Yeah, when I was at the hill, my coach was going crazy up at the top of the hill telling me, and I'm like, I feel a lot better here than I did at Golden Eagle at this point. Yep. And I feel I'm I'm on it. <laughs> So, Tyler, uh, obviously, you know, you have the blessing of, uh, of of being on this course so much, but that you know, but that can be, you know, uh, you know, that can be a good thing for some people. That can be, you know, a challenging thing for some people because you know, maybe the more that you hear, people overthink it, right? But just throughout the throughout your career, how much do you feel like that you've kind of gained an understanding on what works best for Tyler Dalek on this course? I have ran this course so many times, like three, four times every season for the past four years. Like, I probably ran this course double digit number of times, and I feel I've got a really nice grasp of where I should be in terms of how tired I should feel at the mile mark, the halfway mark, the two mile mark, like, stuff like that. I feel, yeah, I've got a really good understanding. So, obviously, you know, I mentioned to you before uh, before we shared this conversation, like, that I said that you were going to be J this year's Josh Bell, you know, that, uh, that yeah, and obviously you've had such a great history uh, with him. The fact that, that he kind of, you know, blazed trails and, you know, and, 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 you know, and shattered glass ceilings and broke barriers, like, to say, hey, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if we're the, the coastal schools, like, we're going to come over here and beat all the Clovis uh, Unified schools, like, uh, I mean, your journey is yours and Josh's was his, but how much has, uh, has that been an inspiration to be like, as long as I stay healthy and as long as I trust the process and continue to improve, I can enjoy that same uh, level of success that he did. I have felt the same way. As long as I try to be, stay rolling, stay trying to like stay healthy on runs, not overworking it, I've been trying to, I've been reassured that I can be at Josh's legacy if I try like that. Tyler, last thing, uh, 1453 7 in October by yourself the fact that there's going to be company you know when we get back here in, in, in November how much how much does, uh, does that like motivate you and inspire you to be like look like we're not gonna you know like this is this is a uh, you know forever like no one, people are gonna look on athletic.net and you know and everywhere and they're always gonna see 14537 but to be like hey you know what like you know in your heart that you're capable of more like how much does that motivate you and inspire you now going forward that motivates me a lot because now that I think like when people look at my athletic on it and they see that, I think like, wow, I'm finally, I'm there. I'm where I wanted to be for a while. Absolutely. Uh, the arrival uh, is a wonderful thing to, uh, to witness. Long time coming, uh, but so well deserved. 14.53.7, that's going to stack up among the best performances uh, in all races today and in central section history. Congratulations.